the SLS AMG's fiery bloodline can be traced back to its legendary ancestor, the 1955 300SL. This is unmistakable in the upward opening gull wing doors and wide front grille. The SLS AMG is equipped with rear 20-inch seven-spoke light alloy wheels and composite ceramic disc brakes. Opened in 1967, AMG was the first tuning shop to focus on Mercedes-Benz muscle. It has since evolved to become the Mark's official performance division. The SLS AMG, its crowning achievement. Built into its sweeping deck lid, a hidden spoiler keeps the car planted at speed. The clever wing deploys at 75 miles per hour and uses the wind to adjust downforce in milliseconds. As the gull wing nickname suggests, these lightweight doors swing upward a full 70 degrees. Thanks to carefully controlled pyrotechnics, their hinges can be blown off if the car rolls onto its roof, aiding exit. The 6.3-litre naturally aspirated V8 engine produces 571 horsepower. This helps the car reach 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds and achieves a top speed of 197 miles per hour. Inside the low-slung cabin, race-ready features hint at this supercar's true nature. A lap-timing stopwatch can be displayed front and center, helping drivers hone their skills. The rear-wheel drive SLS AMG features a seven-speed paddle shift transmission. This is not just the greatest car Mercedes makes. Right now, I think it's the greatest car in the world. It's more powerful than a Ferrari 458, just, it's a little bit louder than a Lamborghini, and it's way more fun than the 911 RS GT Turbo 3S, or whatever this week's Ultimate Beetle is called. This is the thinking men's supercar, the Mercedes SLS. The engine is AMG's own 6.2-litre V8 linked to a flappy paddle double-clutch gearbox that sits at the back for perfect weight distribution, so that it feels as though the entire car pivots around, well, around your bottom. It does a lot of pivoting, if truth be told, because while it can do huge distances in great comfort, what it is at heart is a shouty, snarly, tail-happy, gull-winged lunatic. And that is why I love it.